If you've been on a cruise, of course you know what the guest areas are like, but what about the crew areas? This is where the magic really happens and keeps the ship afloat. Literally. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Ali. I am currently on board Rhapsody of the Seas as dance captain, and today we're doing a mock all access tour of Rhapsody of the Seas. This is an offering from Shore Excursions, and today the cast is going to be trying it out, so I'm gonna be going on the tour and taking you guys with me. Let's go. We're in the dining room right now, which is obviously one of the biggest food and beverage operations on the ship, but of course it wouldn't be possible without the galley. Even as a crew member, this is actually not a place that we're allowed to visit, so it was really cool to be here and see everything that happens behind the scenes. Since we're currently porting out of Israel, we got to see where they do kosher meal production. The galley is huge, so we also got to see where they cook the baked goods, dice the fruit, clean all the dirty dishes, all of that fun stuff. I'm honestly so thankful for the F&B department, especially since I work on the ship. They also cook my meals and they work super long days. They told us at the end of our tour that, that the only time requirement they need to meet is that they don't exceed 14 hours, which is insane. Where are we going next? Uh, I don't know. Not to the engine, apparently. Engine, yeah. control. engine control room. Let's go. We're going to go to deck number one now, okay, guys? Number one. On Rhapsody of the Seas, deck one is usually where the gangway is located, but it's also where most of the crew live and work. Because this is a secure environment, we did security screening upon entry, but this is actually my first time in the engine control room. I never actually even knew where it was until today, but they're obviously a vital department for the ship, along with the waste management and environmentalist department. Royal has a program called Save the Waves. Save the waves! Save the waves, baby! <laughs> and it's an extensive effort to separate and recycle all of the waste on the ship. It's super impressive, and I'm so thankful for all the guys that work here. Woo! Trash! Recycle, baby! Reduce, reuse, recycle. Right down the way from here, they showed us where they keep all the inventory for food and beverage on board, which, as you can imagine, is a lot. Party! While there's a lot on deck one, two levels below is the twin deck, which is where my mind was really blown. As a guest, of course, you can imagine that this is where the laundry goes when you send your items out to be washed, but I can't even imagine how many linens that they have on this ship for both guest and crew. This is my first time being allowed in here, and I'm mind blown at the efficiency of these massive laundry machines, pillowcase flatteners, and this machine that spits out folded sheets. Uh, here she comes. Next, we're going up to the bridge. This is where the captain works, but unfortunately, no videos in the bridge. Or pressing red buttons. <laughs> Lucky for me, I got pictures, but also I've been to the bridge before and was allowed to take a couple videos at that time. It's a really cool area to visit. Definitely would recommend if you have the opportunity. <laughs> Last but not least on the tour, we have the theater, which is my home on the ship. As dance captain, I actually give the tour, so I didn't record it on this day, but here is a quick look. What the guests see is, of course, a lovely put-together show, but there is so much that goes into it. Sound, lighting, quick changes, sets, and props. First, I'm going to take you down to the wardrobe room. I actually don't take people down here on the tour, so here's some exclusive access. This is where we keep all of our costumes and wigs. Throughout the course of the cruise, we have around 10 costume changes each, with a lot of quick changes. Sometimes we need to change our tights, shoes, outfits, and hair in under a minute, and yes, it is very stressful. We're all trained professional singers and dancers, and most of us have been training since we were really young children. We work really hard to put out the best version of our shows every day, and of course, hope you enjoy. Okay guys, the tour is over and I am back in my room, but yeah, it was really cool to just kind of see a different perspective of the ship because obviously I've lived here for like many months now and there's just some things I don't really think about or some processes that I didn't realize happened. So it was really cool to just see the streamlined process, how efficient everything actually is. It really feels like a well-oiled machine, but it was just a really cool experience to see all these different departments and how they work because I haven't been to most of these places. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little sneak peek. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you liked about this tour. See you guys next time. Bye!